There's a real tropical resort atmosphere here, isn't there? There's a nice toad house with beach access, and you can go to the volcano or jade jungle. Indeed! Howdy guys and gals, I'm Silent Senior Zero Nerd, and this is Let's Play Paper Mario. Last time we left off, we, uh, had some Princess Peach stuff we did. Found out where our next Star Spirit is, apparently. Hopefully we'll find out how to get there. And then, um... Poor Colorado here, yeah. He kinda got... Lectured to death. Maybe not lectured to death, but he got lectured pretty harshly by Miss Star, aka the Starfish? Sorry, I just can't get over how frickin' Fangrafer said that. Like, you Starfish! Oh, jeez. So, uh... You doing okay, buddy? I must get my hands on that volcano's treasure! My keen intuition senses that there must be a way. Hmm, I suppose there is a slim chance that it was blown clear in the eruption. I'd best check around the village for some clues. Yep, that'd probably be your best bet. You go do that. Let's actually go where we know where it is, but we won't tell you. Shh, don't tell. So, if you remember, the ancient treasure chest that Colorado was so desperate to try and get his hands on is actually right here. And it blew out of that volcano. It wasn't here before, obviously. And what he was looking for was a volcanic vase, or vase. A treasure found only inside Mount Lava Lava. Yeah, buddy. Also, while we're here, let's go ahead and uh, pick up that flower, or seed, because it looks like it might be ready, based on the fact that that bulb. You know, the chilled out one that I said was like Nintendo Capri Sun? Because he kept saying he would sleep here or sleep there. He's like, oh yeah, totally chill, man. So, uh, yeah, let's see if we can't pick up that seed. Or excuse me, I think it's called a magical seed. My bad. Oh, hello, dude. How you doing? What? You want that seed? Yeah, sure. Oh, man, I completely forgot you. See, I just gave it to a guy named Colorado or something. Seemed like he was in a bit of a bad mood, so I wanted to cheer him up. Yeah, I thought about that. I'm just so generous that I just have to give something to everyone. Well, what are you gonna give me? How about a compliment? That's a nice hat. Man? Well, crap. Guess we don't have that. Hmm. Well, it's not like we're gonna need it for anything. Ha, 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 ha. Yeah, no. Anybody who's played this game knows better otherwise. But anyway, shh, shh. Don't be talking about that. Enough of that. Enough of that foreshadow. Let's go ahead and go back to the village since we at least got the volcanic vase. Let's be a nice guy and cheer up Colorado because he's been looking for that. Ooh, so delicious ancient treasure. And honestly, we really don't have a use for it, so might as well give it to the guy. Here you go. Mario, good heavens! That's the treasure! How on earth did you... Magic. Well, I suppose that's of no consequence right now. You're giving it to me? Sure I am. <laughs> You're giving it to me? Oh, glorious! Marvelous! Dear man, you're quite simply the cat's meow, or the wolf's howl, but that's none of the matter. Howl! Oh, oh, oh! Oh, oh, sorry. I thought that called for that. Cheers! Yo, what's up? Hmm, I suppose. It's only proper that I give this to you as thanks. Look what we got, world! We got the magical sea. Yeah! Yeah! We gotta plant this in the flower garden in Toad Town. Sorry, I had to have my little dance there. A bubble gave it to me while I was off exploring. I'm sure it's a quite valuable seed, but I'm not interested in that at all. Now that I've got a treasure, I proclaim this adventure to be a complete success! <laughs> yeah, I reckon you do. It was a success all the same to us, but hey, this is just kind of the cherry on top for us. What a stupendous expedition! It will be forever recorded in the history of archaeology! Well, old boy, let's away! Back to Toe Town with us! Let's do that! Oh yeah, so we pretty much finished everything we needed to do on this island. Actually, real quick, let me check something. I just want to be sure, because we did recently pick up a couple more letters. Okay, we got a letter to Rusty. 
a letter to Goomba Papa and uh, Goomba Village, which I'll deal with eventually. Eventually! And then we got a letter for Igor and Boo's shop. Ooh, that's a ways out, though. I'm probably going to save that for later. Much like everything else, jeez. I'm such a procrastinator, I'm telling you. And one of these days, I'm going to say my words instead of sounding like freaking Sylvester. F -f fucker and fuckatath! You know, jeez. Uh, am I really done here? Yeah, I am. I was just thinking, like, did I get the coconuts? Yeah, I got the coconuts, the melons. We're ready to go. Let's make our way! <clears throat> As I was saying, let's make our way back to the front side of this island. So that way we can go ahead and make our way to Toe Town. On the plus side, that uh, sudden encounter with the uh, Jungle Fuzzy did remind me of something rather important that we probably want to do. Or at least I'm going to do. You do what you want to do, because you do you, boo. Anyway, sorry, I just wanted to say that at least once, just to see how it sounded, and it sounded pretty dumb coming from me. I'm going to take off the Fire Shield Badge and the Ice Power Badge, because we have absolutely no need for these guys, these two, for an extremely long time. Asterisk. We will need this, both these badges, well, maybe just one of them, but I'm probably going to use both of them. We'll use them later, and by later I mean probably in like two or three chapters later, so... I'd go ahead and free up that space so that way you can go ahead and use these four batch points that you just now opened up if you, uh, you know, were using them originally. I mean, unless you want to go back in the volcano for anything, but honestly, I don't have a use for that. What I am going to do, however, is I'm going to put on the hammer throw badge. And then, let's see, that leaves us with two more. I'm going to put on group focus, because we, I don't think I've really demonstrated that. And plus, it'd be kind of cool to start showing off what each of the sprites looks like when they're in the, like, meditating slash praying pose, you know, when they're trying to focus. No, no. That's enough. We, we have fought plenty of jungle fuzzies. Thank you. I will not be fighting anymore. And I know technically we may not have fought them, those particular enemy spawns, because it's now the first time that we've seen them, you know, now that we've gotten everything we need to do on this island, but I'm like, nah, we've, that's enough. I don't need any more. Well, well, Mario, old boy. Certainly took your time, eh? Let's sit back together, hmm? Oh, excuse the heck out of me for walking, you jerk. I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. I, I, I'll i give you hugs. All right, uh, whale. Not tuna, but whale. Let's do this. Do you want to go back to Toad Town? Sure. Up. Oh. Oh. And off we go. What a heady adventure. I do love a love island. Perchance someday I shall return to your shores. Whoa! What the hell? Oh, great, it's that jackass. Fantastic. <laughs> yes, I <coughs> did it! I swam all the way! Alright, Mario, now I'm gonna give you a beat. You'll never. Ah! No! What? Wait, where are you going? Wait, Mario, wait up! Come back here, you chicken! Shoot! Oh my gosh! Is he serious right now? Yeah, we travel on. It's like all peaceful. But wait, the cutscene doesn't end. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm sorry, this is one of my favorite parts in the game. And I'm so glad we're at this point. I'm like, yes! I wanted to see that idiot swimming behind us. Kicking his legs 90 miles an hour trying to keep up with us. Oh my gar garage. Oh my grandma, I was about to say. Oh, That was beautiful. I loved it. Thank heaven we arrived. Now, tuna fairing is one experience I shan't do again. Hey, it's another thing off your bucket list, at least. Cheers for the ride, though. I'm in your debt. For now, I'm heading back to Koopa Village to relax. My wife must be waiting for me. Perhaps our path will cross again in the future, old boy. Cheerio! Cheerio, dude! Later! And off he goes. Alright, well, that was fun. Whoa! Man, I'm gonna have to tone that down. My voice is just cracking all over the place. I will never swim again for the rest of my life. <sighs> now, Mario, you're mine this time! <sighs> yeah! Okay. 
if you want to fight, let's do it. <laughs> Here it comes! You, you better be ready! Ah! What? What is that? Oh no! Well, that's swimming! My HP is almost gone! <laughs> Laugh it up now! I'll make up for my low HP by using my new skills! Check this out! More power! <laughs> yeah! I know all of your fighting patterns now, Mario! See my gear? The spike, the wings? You can't attack me now! I'm in the air and I'm invulnerable to your jump attack! I'm the smartest fighter alive! <laughs> I can't be defeated! <laughs> you Wario! <laughs> Actually, that's not more like Waluigi. Wario's like. <laughs> He's got that deeper bass. Alright, stop trying to do impressions of Mario characters. Alright, uh. Goomba Rio! My good friend. Hmm, yes. Tell us about Junior Troopa's newest form. It's Junior Troopa. He swam all the way after us. This kid? He's got guts. Respect. Yo, just saying. Alright, so 40 HP, 6 attack power, and 1 defense point. Whew! This guy's really packing a punch! He still flies, but now he has a spike on his head. It'll hurt if we jump on him. Unless you have the spike shield badge, but ah ha 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 ha! You don't have it on, so you're gonna get hurt by it. Shut up! Just saying the facts, dude. Don't get mad. Anyway, he seems tougher this time all around. Luckily for us, he also looks pretty tuckered out. <laughs> that 20 HP drop was funny. Shut up, you jerk! Anyway, well, he should be tired. The little guy swam to Lava Lava Island and back. It seems better to attack from a distance with an item or something, rather than attacking him directly. Hmm, it's interesting you say that, because... <gasps> remember that hammer throw badge I told you all that I'm going to put on? I'm going to use that, and it only costs 2 FP to use, so... Hut, 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 womp! And we actually do get to keep our hammer. Yow! What is it? I didn't think you could do that! Is that even legal? Hey, look at the Hammer Brothers. They do that. They don't get disqualified, so what are you giving me props for? Or issues for? Oh, okay. Well, touche, good friend. Touche. That was actually a pretty uh, nasty attack. Uh, I'm actually going to go ahead and go with the hammer throw again. Don't! Womp. Okay, now he's down to eight. And then uh, let's go ahead and change party member, because Goomburu has absolutely nothing he can do. Except focus, and focus is, well, I don't need it right now. So let's see here, we have some options. You know what, let's go ahead and bring Paracarry in battle, because see, I don't think he's had a chance to really show off his amazing shell shot, so... Uh, yeah! He has had time, I should say, to show that off. He just hasn't had a chance to really, like, demonstrate it to its fullest potential. Also, what the fudge is that pink thing that keeps... Oh! Oh! Oh my gosh. Okay, so that pink thing that's behind Junior Troopa in the background, I thought that was like something Junior Troopa was spawning every time, every so often. I'm like, what is he doing? He doesn't do anything besides fly and have a spike on his head. That is a crudely drawn fish with a crudely drawn ocean behind it. Okay. All is well. Anyway, well, this is fun, but uh, you gotta go. Bye bye ha <laughs> ha! And we level up finally! Yes! Alright! Level up, baby! Alright, so we have a few options here. We could raise our badge points up to 27, which would not be a bad idea because, you know, I'm going to eventually need to get more badge points. Or, I could start working on getting my HP and FP up to 30 because I kind of want to get these up because it's kind of irking me that we only have 25 of each. So I'm going to go ahead and start with our HP. So we can take more hits and go ahead and go to 30. Oh! You know what? Oh, my head. Now that I think about it... I have wings! If I had just flown to the island, I wouldn't have wasted my HP! Then I probably would have beaten Mario in no time! Stupid, stupid, stupid! Uh. Woohoo! The thumbs up. Hey, victory smack! Ah! <laughs> You're so cruel! Oh, my head! <laughs> Victory! <laughs> oh, yes, that feels so good. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
Well, let's see here. I'd say we got a little bit of time to shoot the breeze. So uh, why don't we do that? I'm going to actually bring up Goombarillo because there's something that happens now that we've completed Chapter 5. That's pretty cool. Also, how you doing, dude? Hey, little matey. Looks like I had the wrong bait before. I'm reeling in huge holes. <laughs> okay, cool. All right, so let's go back to Toad Town here. Do we run into Twink yet? I don't remember. I don't think we do. Oh, that's just what I thought. So after we complete Chapter 5, we actually run into Gooma, or excuse me, Gooma Ma and Goombaria. And if you have Goombaria out, this is kind of cute. Goombaria, you're looking just fine, aren't you? You be careful now, not to burden on Ma be a burden on Mario's adventure, dearie. Hey, no way I'm a burden. I help out all the time. Well, well, oh, our dear little Goombaria was helping out the great Mario. It is fabulous, so fabulous. I'm so proud, ha. Huh? I'm going to tell Dad and Goompa. Mario, you must come over to our house again someday. Come on, stop it, Mom. You're embarrassing me. I'm not a kid anymore. Oh, don't be silly, pumpkin. I'm not saying anything embarrassing at all, sugar cookie. I just love you, that's all. Kid and mother be proud of her little children. Oh, Mom. You always treat me like a kid. Nya, nya. Goomba Rio's getting scolded. Nya, 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 nya. Shut up, Goomba Rio. <laughs> Mom. Goomba Rio's being mean. <laughs> so how you doing, Goomba Rio? Mario Hart, please take good care of my brother, okay? Come on, we're in a hurry, Goombria. Seriously, you're so obnoxious sometimes. Be quiet! I was talking to Mario, you butthead! <laughs> I think we actually, if we stand next to him, we do like a tattle. Uh, yeah, she's my sister, Goombria. She's a spoiled girl, but still, everyone's always nice to her. Why? <laughs> and how about his mom? She's my mom, Goomama. She sometimes gets on my nerves when she worries about me too much. But I still love her lots, you know? Don't tell her what I just said, though. Seriously, Mario, promise me. Oh, this is sweet. I love it. That's so cute. All right. How much time we got? Okay, we got a little bit more time. I'm sorry if I'm being a clock watcher here. I'm not trying to make us make a mad dash out of this video like I'm trying to make a mad dash out of a classroom, you know, ready for the bell to ring. But uh, <clears throat> we have a lot to do, and I don't really know how I want to break this down. I mean, I have a rough idea, but... I guess I'll go ahead and wing it a little bit, and then we'll go ahead and end the video, because there is some stuff I want to do. Uh, namely, one of them is I want to actually pay a visit to the badge shop here, because, as you can see, we got some more badges. We got another damage dodge badge, which I will definitely be picking up, because I might, somewhere down the way, put on both damage dodge badges, assuming I get really good at it, because I foresee a, few, a fight in my future where that basically being able to dodge a lot of pain is going to be helpful, especially since I actually had somebody comment on one of my past battles that's like, yeah, you should do this without the ZapTap badge. And if anybody of you know which battle I'm referencing or referring to, then you already know, like, oh, oh, that one. You're going to do that final battle without the ZapTap badge. Yes, yes, I am. And it's going to be so glorious, but oh, so painful. This here is actually the Supercharged badge. I didn't bother reading it. Um, with... A little more FP spent, we can actually charge our attack power up by three with the hammer. This, my dear friends, is the ultimate, the amazing Mega Quake badge. For 200 coins, we are going to get it. Uh-huh. I knew it, Mario. I knew you had a keen eye for badges. That's a good one. You need 200 coins for it. BP you need is three. Oh, that's actually less than I thought. I, was, I thought it was going to be like four or five. That's cool. All right, so I'm going to buy that. Also, there I go with my th 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 stuttering on my words there, jeez. Change my bad stock now and then, so please check back occasionally. We will, we will. Alright, so with that Mega Quake badge, I'm actually going to do a little swappage here. We're going to take off the Power Quake badge, which is really powerful. Uh, used 4 FP originally. Greatly damages all enemies on the ground or the ceiling. However, in place of that, let me see. Actually, I'm going to take off Hammer Throw as well. In place of that, we're going to go ahead and bring out the amazing Mega Quake badge. This requires us to use 7 flower points, hence why I want to start working on getting HP and FP up to 30. This severely damages all enemies on the ground or the ceiling. 
Now, it may not seem like a big deal, but trust me, this has some amazing power behind it. It is no longer going to be locked and capped off at, like, I think it's like 5 that we're at. I think this goes up to 7. And with the plus 1 attack power, that's going to be 8 damage. Oh yes. Oh yes. You know I'm going to be loving that. Also, we got another badge point we can use. Hmm. Hmm. Ooh. Yes. I'm going to definitely, definitely want to use this. The Sleep Stomp badge. And we'll find out why later. But for now, let's see. How much time is that? Okay, we got a little bit more time. Not much. Not much. Let's go together with Post Office because I want to go ahead and check the mail here real quick. You know, got to do our usual before we return home officially. Ah, uh, yes, Mario, hello! <laughs> well, let's see, check the files here. Ah, seems you have some mail here. Which letter would you like to read? Whoa, we got a lot of mail here. All right, we'll start from the top and work our way down. Guma, okay, cool. Here you go. That'd be his grandma, if I remember. Dear Goomba Rio, how are you, my cute little Goomba Rio? We're all doing fine here, have you no, know, sweetie? I hope your tattlebilly has finally become useful. Stop by whenever you get a chance. We all miss you, honey. Good luck, my little goom nut. I'll be thinking of you, goom ma. Oh, he's so sweet little goom, goom ma grandma being nice. Mmm, would you like me to read more letters? Yes, indeed, you know it. All right, Bombette, let's see what else we got. Oh, good lord, Bruce. <laughs> I have a feeling I know what this is going to be about. Bruce is that little bomb that's in Koopa Village It's like super duper in love with her. Bombet! You must return to me, oh fair combustible bum. But bum, my dear, my heart awaits you in Koopa Village. It burns like a fuse. I will love you forever. Even if you reject me, my love will endure. If I don't see you soon, I'll surely explode. So please hurry, my dear. You've ignited my passion. Come back to me, my love. Your Bruce. I gotta give props. That was actually very sweet and very well thought out and incredibly cringy, but that's usually the best kind of love letter to write. The cringier, the better sometimes. All right, moving on to Lady Bell. What letters do we have for her? Oh, Bootler. Okay. That's like her attendant slash guardian. To Lady Bell, please return as quickly as possible. I cannot shake the image of you in some sort of danger. It so worries me that I can no longer sleep, I'll have you know, dear. When you went with Mario, you told me not to go with you. And I abided, although begrudgingly so. But now I regret my obedience. I should have gone away anyway and protected you from harm. Now all I can do is wish to the stars with the other boos that you return safely. Please take care, my dear. Bootler. Aw, that was sweet. Shall we read more? Yes, absolutely! That's what we're here for, man! Alright, what? Whoa! Fuzzipede, huh? That's that guy that was inside the whale, slash tuna. Okay. <laughs> Wonder how he's doing. Dear what? Well, I'm still kicking. I ain't gonna be bait no more. I mean, I appreciate the help of you and your buddies. This here letter will be my thanks, so uh, we're even all righty. Anywho, good luck doing uh, what y'all do, and don't be bothering me if we meet up again, Fuzzipede. <laughs> wow. That's that awkward friend that doesn't know how to interact with you at all in any way, shape, or form. It's like, well, that happened. That voicemail happened. They're, they're, they're the type that's going to call your phone and leave you that a very awkward voicemail like, yeah, don't call back, but thanks anyway. <laughs> Jeez. Alright, so, how much time... Jeez, man, I'm not like a freaking clock watcher here. We're not gonna end the video just yet. We're gonna do one more thing. We're gonna read the news. What's up? Toe News. Pleasant path to become a toll road. An enormous Koopa Troopa has parked himself on Pleasant Path between Koopa Village and Toe Town. The huge creature, who is apparently calling himself Kent C. Koopa, demands coins from every passing traveler. If the traveler refuses, his brute... This brute blocks the way with his enormous body. We must stop this extortion as soon as possible! Any ideas will be welcome. For now, we would suggest that you take some coins with you when you go to Koopa Village. Well, that sucks! Jeez. I guess we're gonna have to deal with that. Angry Message Corner. I bought Princess Peach's photos by mail order, 
but they were the total rip-off! Paid a hundred coins for a man, but I got only three photos, all of which were horribly out of focus, dude! They sure as sushi weren't beautiful. Give me back my coins, you swindler! A big fan of Princess Peach. <laughs> wow. Okay, that happened. Alright, well, I think that'll do it probably for now. I hate to end it there, but I'm like, I don't want to make this really super-duper long video. <laughs> Thank you all so much for watching. Love you bunches. Please don't let's flap in the next time with me. We're probably going to go ahead and continue to the, um, uh, uh, think direction-wise, Silent Senior, west side of Toad Town, which is like the entrance of here, the, uh, Toad Town, you know, where we came in from Goomba Village. And we're going to do the usual, you know, we're going to check up on Luigi, we're going to talk to Rusty, he's going to tell us some random facts. We also got a letter for him to take, so we'll get a star piece for that. And then there's some other stuff I want to pick up while we're over there, too. But in the meantime, take care, and peace out, y'all. Check it. Yeah.